uh, heading home from work, and I was a, I was just driving home uh, to take shelter because we had advance notice of the severe weather coming in. I was about two miles away from the tornado, which during uh, in my photos and video, it's over the Henryville Marysville area that was uh, you know devastated. Chad, why weren't you trying to get away? I mean, clearly, I understand that you live there, but weren't people moving away from the area? Because this wasn't the only tornado. Right. There were a lot, but um, I, basically you're told to seek shelter in your basement. Um, being between work and home, I was trying to get the nearest point and, uh, and get into the basement of the home. And, of course, we didn't know exactly where the weather was. Um, it was very rapidly developing. Have you been able to get out and about? I mean, is it safe to go out? And have you been able to see what sort of devastation this weather pattern has been causing? Well, the, the storms came through probably a couple hours before uh, evening, before night uh, fell. So I haven't been out. The, their emergency officials are asking everybody to stay in their homes at this time. Um, the darkness is uh, causing a lot of problems with search and rescue efforts. We've got uh, 10 fatalities confirmed so far from our local news agencies, and I know that um, the emergency officials are uh, working right now in the dark to uh, search for other survivors. And how bad is it compared to what you've seen before, Chad? Well, we had a pretty bad uh, tornado come through the same area in 2004, and it did damage and uh, destroyed some businesses, but it was, it was nothing like this. This is uh, just really uh, far outweighs the 2004 storm. This is the worst I've seen. Chad, we've just seen a picture of a home which appears to have been made of wood. Now, I've been to the United States, and in many areas, there are these homes which you can basically put on the back of a big pickup truck, and you can take them anywhere in the United States. Do you think it's time for houses to be built more solidly? Um, I understand there are some homes that may not be manufactured to uh, lesser specifications, but for the most part, homes in this area, they are uh, wood construction, but... They resist uh, regularly over, you know, 20, 30 years, 60, 70 mile per hour uh, winds that come through every year. So this, it's just the uh, magnitude of this storm and storms like this. And unless you've seen it or experienced it, it's really hard to imagine the power and what these things do. It basically only leaves the foundation, um, uh, even of uh, well-constructed wooden buildings. The only thing that's left is the foundation.